All right, so the next thing is we are going to look at how to draw equations in Microsoft Word. So for this tutorial, we are going to draw these four simple and gradually moving to complex equations. So you can see this almighty formula. You can see this little, these uh, expressions. You can see this expression. We're going to draw them all in Microsoft Word. So the first thing is we need to make sure that once we are in Microsoft Word document, we can just come to insert over here and you can come all the way down to the top right okay you can see equations when you click on this small arrow you see a range of equations pre-existing equations binomial theorems expansion of a sum, Fourier series and pythagorean theorem pythagoras theorems okay and many more okay, you can insert new equations if you want or you can just come all the way to this pi and just hit on it and it's going to insert the equation editor over here or the equation yeah the equation editor and it's going to enable the equation at the top of the ribbon over here so when you take a look at it the first thing to the top left is you can still click on this and still have the inbuilt equations and then you can have unicode if you want to type in a code format where you have latex you can type in from here and you can convert exponential okay uh, current professional uh, exponentials you can write exponentials and you have over other symbols over here the range of symbols that you can have access to by just clicking on this small arrow you have basic mathematics lowercase, uppercase, and you have a range of them, letter-like symbols and common binary operators and so many more. Depending on what equation you are trying to write, you can always find what you are looking for in these various styles. Okay. But for now, we are going to look at some basic mathematics. Okay. So you can see basic math. So just continue and we come all the way down here. We have a range of operations, structures that you can insert into your document. For example, you have the fractions, you can have different kind of fractions that you can easily insert, fractions, common fractions that you can insert and construct your mathematical equations. And then you can have scripts, okay? Different kind of scripts, superscript, subscript, and many, many more styles, okay? And you have radicals, you have them in different forms, square root, normal square roots, you can do cube root and thereabouts. You have, you can insert ready-made formulas also if you want. And then you have integrals. There are series of integrals, the contour integrals and many, many more. Okay. So you have summations, large operators and, and all that. You can have access to all this depending on what kind of mathematical equation you are trying to use. I'll show you how to use most of them just for your consumption to write, to be able to write exceptional equations. So you have different kind of brackets, you have absolute brackets, you have different kind of coil brackets and circle brackets and many more. Okay. And then you have the functions, trigonometric functions, the inverse functions and hyperbolic functions and, and many more. And then you have accents. You have a number of accents which you can access and use in your equations. And you have limits, okay, limit functions and log functions. You can have them over here. And then you have operators, okay. And then you have, lastly, you have matrix. You can do all sort of matrix, two by two, three by three, depending. You can specify the graphs, the brackets, as well as the content, what kind of uh, matrix you're targeting. You can easily design it from here okay so without taking much of your time let's try to design this the, let's try to write these basic equations this almighty formula okay or quadratic equation you can just select anywhere in the clip and just hit enter to bring us to a fresh line and we're going to type this exactly so this is going to still come back to insert over here come to equation and just hit on the uh, the pi sign and then you can start typing okay this is capital x equal to you can put the equality sign from here or you can come to the symbols and just click and you can see equal sign directly here you can just click on it equal to then you have this whole thing as a fraction okay so this is a fraction so you have to bring in a fraction you click on this and then you have a big fraction like this you go to the numerator you click and come to the numerator and you start writing minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 ac so you have minus b you can either type minus b or you can double click okay so you can come back to the equation editor you can have minus b you can just come to minus you can click on this drop down and you can see the minus sign anywhere you can see it here minus b so you just type b on your keyboard plus or minus you can have them as a symbol a combined symbol you can see it over here plus or minus then you have square root then you can come to radicals over here and then you have a simple square root 
inside the square root then you have b squared minus 4ac so you click on the square root and then you have b square b is script so you can just come to script and put it a superscript so you can just click b and then you come here and say squared you come down to normal and then you put minus okay minus 4ac so you can come down here and still put down the minus minus 4 on your keyboard ac just like so and then you can come down to the denominator and then you write all over 2a from your keyboard Okay, I think that does it for this one. You can just hit out. Okay, so and then you just have your equation written x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Next, we have to take on this, this long equation. Uh, df dt equal to limits as h turns to zero of this function. So you can just come all the way to come to insert again, come to equations and you have it here. So you have a fraction. Okay, so the first thing is a fraction. You have a fraction df dt so df just like so dt at the denominator and then you can come back to the center and then you put the equality sign from here uh, equal to then you can give limit as h turns to zero so you can come to limit over here you can just give it limit as h turns to zero you can just give it limit and then you can come down so you can come to the denominator and say h turns to zero so h and then you can go back to the same equation and put an arrow signifying as h turns to okay this type of arrow turns to zero from your keyboard and then you can put this whole expression as part of the uh, limit is all about okay function the limit is going to be a function of all these functions okay so you come over here and then you write a fraction okay you write a fraction and then at the top or the numerator you can at the numerator you can just go ahead and type in f of t plus h minus f of t so you can just put f brackets so you can come to the brackets you can just put this normal bracket and then you can put t plus h t plus h so you can just t t plus h okay and then you can go out of the bracket and then you put the minus sign and you put f of t f bracket t just like so you can come back and put t and then you can come all the way all over h okay so i think this does it for this also this equation you can see it well written and it's very very simple and easy to write next you can come down and we can write this third one so let's give it let's take it on a fresh page you can come down here and we can just write it so this is integral okay so integral of a limit from a negative infinity to infinity of this complex uh, bracket so you can come to insert as well and then go to equation and then you can come all the way to integral normal integral of infinity to infinity so you have two limits okay so a normal integral from negative infinity so you put negative and then you can come over here and look for infinity you can see infinity somewhere here to infinity you can go to the numerator and then you put the same infinity as well to infinity of this equation of this bracket so you put a bigger radical something like this and then inside it you have this fraction okay the bigger picture is a fraction so you have this fraction okay so at the top you can always come back click on it so at the top you have another square root of x to the power n so you can come down and put another square root and inside that square root you have x to the power n which is a script so you can see a superscript so you put it and then you can go over there and type x rest for n you can just type from your keyboard and then you come down and then you can put you can come out of that bracket and then you put the plus sign so plus one okay so this does it for the numerator and then you can come back to the denominator and put alpha plus beta rest power rest power y rest power gamma so now have alpha plus beta so you check on the symbols again so here we have alpha plus so put the plus sign plus beta so you just check again on the same symbols we have alpha we have beta our uh, rest of our gamma so it has to be rest of our gamma so it's going to be a script okay a superscript and then we we'll come down into it and then we have beta over here we have beta and then we have rest of our gamma okay so we we'll come down to the symbols and we we'll take gamma up 
so you can come out of the entire bracket and then we have the dx okay so now out of the brackets and then we can type dx to signify this last part of the equation so this brings it this makes it complete you can see we have now just written the equation you can select it come down to home button and just increase the size to kind of look similar to the one you have but this is the, this is how to type it uh, very nicely you can see it uh, perfectly written so next next we have to write the last one which is this complex one so x the sub subscript xk equals to all of this so we can just start writing you can just come to insert all the way and come to equation again and then you can uh, start writing this is a subscript so you can just come to scripts and then come to subscript okay so you go back and put your capital x denominator and the subscript you have k and then you come out of it and then you put the equal sign and then you put this uh, fraction so you have this fraction one over n so you go to denominator the numerator you put one and then the denominator you put n and then you can put this summation from n equals to zero to n equals to one so you come to summation over here so you have the summation over here from n equals to zero to n equals to negative one so you take this one we come down to the denominator the one at the bottom here from n equals to zero so you put n equals to zero all the way to the top which is n n capital n to n minus one okay so to n minus one and then we can come into the real expression where we have this subscript x subscript n so you can come to script and then you can come subscript so you have your x over here and then you have subscript n and this n now is you now come out of it and then you have letter e rest to power all these jargons i2 pi k okay so this is not going to be ordinary e you have to put a superscript over here so you come over here put a superscript and then go back and put letter e and then on the superscript you have i2 pi okay so we have the pi from the symbols and take on pi so this is it we have pi over here and then we have k and then we have this small fraction so we can hit on the fraction come over take this fraction and then we have it small letter n by the capital letter n and i think this does it for this very equation also okay so you can just click out and you have it correctly written you can highlight it also and come to the home tab and make it bigger okay you can just click to make it bigger and you can see it completely written so ladies and gentlemen this is how to write basic mathematical equations on microsoft word starting from the simplest one something like this down to complex ones something like this i hope you enjoyed this video if you do kindly hit on, on the like and subscribe buttons to stay connected to this channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye